in spirits mm. with you. I was looking at the clock then, and uh, for some reason I missed the, missed it just for a split second. So tonight, <laughs> you may have noticed something. Well, for one, I'm actually wearing my Lincoln Green Brewing T-shirt that I went and bought the other week. But not only that, you may be seeing a bit of raggy. You may be seeing a lot of raggy. There is a lot of raggy behind me on three shelves of the beer wall. Where, oh, I just noticed some. Um, there we go. Oh, so a couple of non raggies there, but on the whole, it's a raggy beer wall. Um, in any case, the bottled review of Raggy's Golden Ale. And you know, this is a 3.8% golden ale. Can I remember the hops? No, I forgot. And uh, so this, uh, for, for those who don't, so please bear with me. This, um, on Twitter a few months ago, Lincoln Green messaged and said, uh, we're basically going to do a beer to honour Nottingham, a Nottingham Beer Review called um, Raggy and Raggy's Beer Reviews. And... Uh, my old thing during covid and before covid obviously because i've been doing beer reviews now for three and a quarter years mm -hmm. is to do beer reviews that are positive and supportive of local but you know positive beer reviews and like most people like all breweries we've all been on a journey there's been a journey the last year and a half if not longer, you know, for all of us. And uh, some of us have lost people. Some of us have gone through awful times and jobs. And I too have been on a journey, uh, a journey where I wasn't happy in a job, then made a catastrophic mistake, moving to a very bad job um, with um, elements that I would never ever want to repeat again in that job I hit rock bottom was at desperation stage was you know the, the as close to doing something silly as you, as you could possibly get you know without without being you know not joking um and then i managed to get a good job um working for a fantastic company with great people around me being left to do gardening, push myself, and the beer reviews and the gardening, we've kind of grown together. The, the, the job, life has got more positive. And if anything, you know, the last year it has been a, 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 you know, there was always blips. Life is full of blips. But the last year has been a positive tour de force. And you know, my love of local breweries, my support of local breweries. You know, I'm from Nottingham. I live and breathe Nottingham. I want to do my best for my city and the local breweries that are in and around Nottingham. Not just Nottingham, but, you know, Derbyshire, Leicestershire, Lincolnshire. And, uh, and you know, building relationships with all these companies and uh, for Lincoln Green to come along and to brew a beer on my behalf and so um as soon as they said that i says i, I you know this says we're going to do it this day would you like to come down hell yes so i did i went down to brew the beer um learned so much from martin and anthony you know the the, the, the boss of lincoln green and it was an amazing day and obviously the link raggies went into cask and now the next evolution is this fella so the light it's not showing up as bright in the light i'm not sure if it's my lights or what raggy's golden ale this is a 3.8 percent very sessionable ale brewed in nottingham viewed on youtube and you know there's a good the social media has got a bad rep in a lot of ways but social media has, has helped me uh talk to a camera doing beer reviews, not knowing that anybody was there, and I really didn't. Then transforming to a live 
audience when I hit a thousand subscribers and I've built friendships across both the UK, Europe and the world. Friendships across and uh, it's been it's been amazing and uh, you know the positivity for me life it's been an amazing journey and it's helped me make friends and new acquaintances it's been it's been amazing you know literally amazing so anyway here we go founded in 2012 Lincoln Green Brewing Company we make traditional ales with a modern twist brewed with pride in Nottingham I'll go along with that all, all day long here we go Billy Rag is an online beer, wines and spirits reviewer with a large following on his social media and YouTube platforms. His reviews are positive, down to earth and highly supportive of local brewers. We thought the best way to thank him for his kind reviews was to brew a beer with him and name, name it in his honour. Raggy's Gold Nail is an easy drinking session ale at 3.8%. And there you go. Isn't that not amazing? You know... As, as as someone from Nottingham whose background is um oh no where's my tin opener gone um whose background oh, I've got a spare tin opener whose background is gardening amenity horticulture one Britain in bloom on top for a while East Midlands in bloom with the Arboretum uh RHS excellence in horticulture and obviously the last few years doing beer reviews as well as doing gardening and you know it's it's truly an honor and i'm also sober at this moment in the, at night as well which is always a always a blessed moment so let's pour this out with my lincoln green brewing glass thank you lynette for that she will know who she is for those who want to know, she's the wife of Anthony. I actually asked for a glass. Do you sell glasses? They said, well, you can have one. Um, people normally nick them anyway. And, you know, I know what's... My mum was terrible for that. She didn't care monkeys. Yeah, she nicked me a Castle Rock glass from um, the spot in Daybrook at one stage. Yeah, when it was called the spot. Yeah, it broke in the dishwasher, sadly enough. But I've got another Lincoln... I've got another Castle Rock glass now. So look at that, ha, oh, golden, as you'd expect, crystal clear. Actually looks clearer in the bottle than it ever did out of gas, which is always was a little bit hazy and, and took, it took a, a few seconds to clear, but tasted amazing nonetheless. So yeah, a good, carb, a good carbonation on this. Um, five mils of head. Quite the moment. A traditional citrusy nose. We're not talking craft, we're talking citrus. We're talking traditional beer. Remember that. Citrus nose, nonetheless. Ooh. That tastes different to how it does out of cask. The spiciness really comes to the forefront. Citrus on the taste. There's a spiciness to it. That's really interesting. It's interesting to see the difference between cask and bottle. Mm. So yeah, the citrus is really quite pronounced. Sorry, the spice element is really quite much more forward on this than it is from cask. Don't get me wrong, the cask is exceptional. If you ever see it on cask or get your local brewery or your local microbook to, to you know, get hold of Lincoln Green and say, any chance you can get this in, mate? You know. 
He's a better reviewer. <laughs> oh, so the spiciness, it's, um, it's much more there than it is on cask. very interesting to chat with the good man himself um, both Anthony the founder and the, the boss man at Lincoln Green but also Martin the the, the the head brewer from Lincoln Green and compare both cask and the bottle versions and see what they think and their 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 thoughts and that would be an amazing um, interview sort of thing getting the cask version if if it still exists i'm not sure and getting the bottled version and obviously i've tasted quite a bit of the cask i've had a good oh, a good 10 pints <laughs> a good 10 pints of the cask and um you got to haven't you it's got your bloody name on it and uh, and you know So, for me, um, this is a slightly different beast than what the cask comes out at. I still get the same taste, but the spiciness is certainly more at the front than it was in the cask version. Now this is this is not chilled temperature, so I may need to chill it. I've got to grab one off the back wall though, because uh, I've run out of bottles. <clears throat> There's a, I bought quite a few bottles today. You may have noticed. <laughs> well, you got to, haven't you? So from the brewery shop, I can't tell you how much it is online because it's not as I'm doing this beer review. It is not online yet. It should be online by tomorrow, which is Tuesday, the whatever day it is, the 4th, um, is it the 13th? I don't know, I'm not sure, I can't tell the dates. Let me just, just go down on my phone a bit further. 13th today, so, oh, bugger. That's it, thought I'd lost the video then. So tomorrow's the 14th, it should, be on sale on the 14th. From the brewery shop, it is £1.95 a bottle. And for a case of eight, it is £15 for a case of eight. There may be difference on the website. The, the cases on the website are cases of 12 because they case it themselves in the shop. They put it into boxes. And uh, yeah. So I would presume around about 24 quid a case, I presume, on the um, <clears throat> on the website. Obviously, you've got to factor in delivery. Delivery is either six or seven pounds nationwide. But even so, 31 quid isn't too bad. Um, for those wanting a mixed case, there obviously will be some differences there. Please get in contact with them by email. Um, they sh they are a very good company, you know, like most companies, business is business. And um, any Nottingham breweries out there, any Nottingham pubs, micro pubs, get yourself some of this raggies. Yeah, there's a story. There's a story beyond the beer that you. <sighs> Those who've watched the Beer Review channel for a good 18 months will have known the the um, deterioration that happened and the the, the downhill moments and the certain very, very dark downhill moments, but then the elation when I got a new job and the 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 upward trajectory uh, from there. And then the opening up to the beer community. Well, I didn't know there was actually a real beer review community out there. And then doing the lives, the interaction, 
the 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 absolute genuine people out there from beer reviewers to the community and you know i hate the word subscriber so i don't i don't use that word but the the beer review community there's such a great bunch of people ladies gentlemen you know it's an amazing community and a lot of us are coming together uh, for the robin hood beer festival in nottingham on friday the is it the 14th or 15th it's definitely the friday i think it might be the 15th actually of october a lot of people are coming to nottingham we're going to join up some are coming here to the beer room to join up and sample a few imperial stouts own brew ones obviously i can't afford to give you know and then go down to the to the actual um to the the beer festival itself and uh you know, it's going to be an amazing moment in time, you know, doing beer reviews with with the friends, 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 not subscribers, hate the word, friends of the beer review community. It's not just about one beer reviewer, never was, never will be. There are far more beer reviewers than any one person out there. Depend, you know, there are some people who probably think they are, but you know, it's above, it's above that. And it's all about supporting local breweries. That's what it's all about. Supporting good beer. Whether it be on cask or in bottle from good breweries. That's what it's all about. And yeah. Brewed in Nottingham. Hell yes. Nottingham all day long. For me. All day long, an easy drinking session ale. Citrusy, spicy, three hops went into it. Can I remember the hops? No. I think Amarillo was one. Um, I can't remember the others. No use asking. I, I have got it in a private message on Twitter. But I, for, I forgot to look before I came on, as usual. You know, these things happen. I did actually say that early on when I was talking to Lincoln Green. When I, when I went to pick up the beers, I says, I do reviews and I forget. I forget. Sometimes I forget even the name of the beer. And it's like, what's, what's this truffing beer I'm reviewing? This is the great thing about having the beer next to me. Because I can look at the thing and think, oh, yeah, it's, a, it's that beer. You know, it's the pitfalls, isn't it? You do beer reviews. You have a drink. You have a drink, you forget. The beer is a good beer, nonetheless, but it means the world to me. It does. It means this is the story behind it is 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 so much more than just beer. It's uh, the story of a Nottingham person, and uh, yeah, there's this there's just so much more, you know. <laughs> so, crystal clear golden pour. Good carbonation, little white head on the nose, certainly citrus on the nose, on the taste, citrus, spice. Yes, you will get that. Um, like I say, it's a sessionable ale. It's not a craft beer. It's a traditional beer with an hint of, hint of modern, hint of craft in it. This is where this is a great company for this, you know. Yes, I may be biased because they brewed my they brewed a beer in, in honour of me, but I know the beers and I know they're flipping good. And, uh, you know, and the pubs are great as well. If you come to Nottingham, check out Lincoln Green pubs. Nottingham is, you know, I don't, the, the pubs where you just want to go and get your lagers, yeah, yeah, yeah. The pubs where you want a decent beer, but you want to chat. You, you know, you want an environment where you chat, you enjoy the beer, you dissect the beer, you meet new people. These are the pubs. This is the sort of beer. You know, it's going to get a high score off me because it's it's, my, it's a beer that was brewed in my honour. You know, you, you, it, I can't see anything wrong with it. So that's, that's, it's always going to be that, isn't it? It's very hard to dissect your own beer, but I still, it's a lovely beer nonetheless. Um, would I drink it again? Are you real? 
<laughs> Look at the wall behind me. You know I'm going to be drinking it again uh, with friends, obviously. Out of five. Oh, for me, a good 4.6 out of five. But I may be slightly biased on this one. Maybe. But a cracking beer, nonetheless. And that's it for this beer review. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody involved at Lincoln Green and all your pubs. Um, it's been a moment in time to see your face on a bottle. Although the light's shining on. I've got over 20 minutes as well. Damn. It was always going to be a long review. And uh, please, I hope you've all watched all the way to the end. You know, you will see moments of emotion and for those who've watched me, you, you'll know how emotional I do get at times. But it, there's, there's a point where, like the young Emma, who's just won the US Open, there's a moment in life that means so much more to you than most other people can ever realise. That's the moment. What a cracker. massive thanks you know ah, to each and every one who follows this channel and the bear reviews you know and the, uh, the bear community it's been a tough old year and a half for the bear community as a whole tough times ahead still but these little random acts of kindness develop from an acorn into a tree you know <laughs> As a gardener, I know that more than most. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on this journey. A journey that uh, will have forever some more, you know. I ain't done yet. <laughs> you should know that. Cheers, everyone. See you soon. Time to cook some dinner for the wife. <laughs>